going on guys? It's Kuda here and today we are back from a little bit of a delay in my upload schedule, right? Uh, I can't do an upcoming challenges video, right? Because there's not enough up, uh, challenges upcoming for me to do a video on it. Uh, but I do have another video I was editing and I just got all of the like prerequisite work done to edit the video and going forward I can use these images I made for the video for other things so I should have an easier time editing this video uh not this one sorry the the next one's following there's a big one I have and then there's a few uh other ones like updating old videos that I did before like let's just give an example all brutalities right I want to update some older videos uh because, well, they're like eight months old. Anyways, uh, the Shaolin Heroes pack just dropped, which is... I mean, is it... What is it for? It's discounted, too. I can't... I can't seem to fathom why they would drop this pack on June 23rd out of all days. It's not the Lunar New Year. So, um, we're just going to open it. We have three giveaway winners, but we're only going to do two in this video because they're iOS. As you can see here, uh, 20 out of 20 packs are here and four, five, five. It's a 14% uh, chance of pulling one of the uh, best diamonds in the game. Classic Liu Kang, one of the best diamonds. Classic Raiden, one of the best diamonds. And I would say in Justice 2 Raiden, even uh, he is one of the best diamonds. His basic attacks are incredible. My favorite character used to be Dark Raiden, and then when I came back after a little tiny break in like around 2018, and just as 2 Raiden became my favorite character because of his basic attacks, and obviously the look of the character too is amazing. And they should make more Injustice skins for characters. Like, yes, Injustice 2 Sub-Zero please. Just realized the sound was all the way up and I just turned it down. Okay guys, so I guess let's just get started with opening up 10 packs. Yeah, so uh, basically trying to update older videos right now is the thing I'm focusing on. There's not much going on in the game. I do some fatal tower battles like 184, 185, 189, 196. Might do some of those. Maybe gold teams, diamond teams. Just try some stuff out for fun. But in all honesty, I see the biggest issue being reported to, to me is definitely the open fail glitch still which um, has no solution since the developers make the reward unclaimable as of now. Hopefully it does get addressed. Um, we thought maybe with the release of the Elderwind Tower that they would address it, but since repeat towers are planned, I mean, just in the game, there's pretty much no work into actually planning a tower out. It doesn't take anything. There's no updating required. Uh, so. That's why I, I, I'm not surprised nothing ended up happening from it. Also, no diamonds so far, all gold. So, like, what is the... Hmm. Come on, let's see here. Really? Nothing? Marksman Kung Jin. Come on. One diamond, please. Just some ton packs. There we go. Classic Raiden. Actually, out of the three, Classic Raiden and then Classic Liu Kang. I don't know. I'm trying to think between the two. Which one's better? I think it just two Raiden is the third best in the pack, but maybe classic Raiden? Mm, no, because the cripple on classic King is still super useful. I don't know. What do you guys think? You think classic Raiden or classic Liu Kang is better overall just for this pack if we rank the best characters from it? The gold characters are obviously not going to be better, <laughs> so... Gold Di uh, Thunder God Raiden, though. I actually want to tell you a story about Thunder God Raiden. Now, I downloaded this game back in 2015, and it was right after the Thunder God Challenge, which right after him was the Flaming Fist Liu Kang Challenge. That's the first challenge I started MK Mobile playing on, uh, or playing with, right? And I never got Thunder God Raiden, which always upset me because I just wanted to have him. One thing that I noticed is streaming. There were people streaming Mortal Kombat X Mobile, which is not a common thing nowadays. Not many people stream Mortal Kombat X. But back when it first came out, there were thousands of people tuning in for Mortal Kombat X Mobile live streams. And there was one Twitch streamer in particular that I was watching, and he was spending a 
hell of a lot of money on this game right as it released. We're talking hundreds of dollars. Now, you probably are thinking, oh, wow, so we got a maxed account? No, 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 no. Remember, Fusion 7 was the max back then, and the only characters were golds and gold challenge characters. To max those out for hundreds of dollars, think about what you can get with hundreds of dollars now in the game. Yeah, no. But when I saw that, I went, that's it. That's what I want. This is what I want. I want to do that. And there was a little bit of envy, right? And the fact that he had this maxed collection. And so for anyone who does want a max collection, well, now you actually can because the game is a lot easier to grind compared to before. I would say so. Quest made getting souls easier than it was back then. And this game didn't just, just come out as well, right? There's also less cheaters in the game or more. It's, it, it doesn't, uh, it's not really clear, but uh, we just got just two raiding, by the way. I'm just gonna, you know, let that fly under the radar. But that is your first fusion of him. Almost said first. F first? No, that sounds right. What is up with me right now? I don't know, guys. My commentary is a little rough. It's been about nine days, right? Oh, no. Come on. Two days. Uh, not two days, two packs. Um, it's rough right now, guys. It's rough. What do we got? Hat trick, Kung Lao. Okay. That is the last character we got in this pack. So for who we got here, gotta recheck the name. Fluffa. Ma Fluffa. You were one of the giveaway winners for 10,000 souls, which we spent 4,000. You have 6,000 left over to spend on whatever you want. Tower refreshes, new soul packs, etc etc the 4th of july is coming here soon and i do think if we're getting a discount randomly on J june 23rd then yeah we probably will get some 4th of july stuff which would be so much better than the way they handled it um, last year and the year before that and i don't remember if we got anything for 2022 did we i'm gonna have to go look back and see I'm going to put on screen yes, just one word, yes or no. Uh, but 2021, I know for a fact we didn't get anything for 4th of July. It was a miserable zero. We had Tapjoy increased um, soul offers. I think it was like X3 and then nothing to spend souls on. It's pretty sad. But honestly, your collection does look pretty good as it stands. Yeah, not bad. It is interesting. You chose Aftershock Tremor to ascend almost to max. Did you purchase premium? I had to check here. No, you did not purchase premium. Interesting. So you saved your um, ascension points for Aftershock Tremor. I guess that's not a terrible one to use it on. But personally, I would be waiting for Gunslinger Aaron Black to get ascended. But you did do Dark Raiden, my favorite character. Oh my gosh, I still love that look on the card when you get ascended upwards. But they should have a different one for max. It should be even just a little tiny bit more advanced. Anyways, let's move on to the next giveaway winner. Alrighty, we're back on Phoenix's account. Now, as I said before, since the 4th of July is coming out here soon, I would take advantage by saving your souls. Because we actually have something to expect for 4th of July this year. We don't know what packs are coming, though, because 4th of July hasn't really been celebrated much in MK Mobile throughout its time and it's not going to be consistent. We're probably going to get a few new packs like Killer Joke, Divine Storm, Classic Combat. We're probably going to get a few packs like that mixed in with some old packs similar to Classic Diamond, uh, Shaolin Heroes, you could say that one too, Comic Cup, Make It Rain. Probably have some mixtures for 4th of July. I don't see us having a whole week's worth, but maybe just a few days. We could get a whole week's worth though, who knows. But let's get started with opening up the uh, 10, not 10, 20 packs for Phoenix here. Please pray for Phoenix, pray for Phoenix. And if you do want to partake, partake in uh, giveaways here in the Discord server, go down the link in description, kude.shop slash discord and enter in whenever a giveaway pops up. Just a little click of a button, that's it. It's right under the giveaway. If it does say interaction failed, you just have to wait a little bit and it will work. But sometimes when it's being overflown with a bunch of reactions, it 
says interaction failed and take some time to process it. Hmm. Okay. Liu Kang is the first card, first ever character that I obtained. No, definitely not. And Justice Raiden, your first copy too. All right, let, that's a good start. That's a good start. Marksman Kung Jin, you don't even have a max. Hold on, what's your collection? Oh, I was gonna click skip all. That's a big mistake. I wanna do one by one, just cause we've got a lot of, uh, well, I had a lot of things to talk about. Wasn't boring. Another Femme Fist Liu Kang, which isn't even max. He's a good card, so it's nice to have a max. Oh, classic Raiden. That's what I like to see. You already have one copy, so I'm sure that was useful for tower battles. I think, is it 20 or 30? I think it's 30% of the health of the opposing uh, op opponent. Yeah, whatever. Opposing person that you could take damage of. If you just keep doing that consistently, it's pretty good. Another Injustice Raiden, all right. Nice, but where's the Liu Kang? We gotta have him celebrate all of this with just one Liu Kang. One more pack left. Is it gonna be Liu Kang or is it not? Yeah, man. No, of course not. It doesn't, it doesn't want to be nice to me. Three diamonds though, for 10 packs, that is good. Let's go look at your collection because I should have done that before since I'm kind of surprised here. Yeah, you don't have all golds maxed. Your only one is Thunder God Raiden. I would have been jealous in 2015. I'm just saying now. Although, to be fair, in 2015, I didn't think Thunder God Raiden was a good card. I just wanted one copy of him, but I kept getting you know who. Heavy Weapons Jax Briggs, which now he's good. But back then, I didn't think he was because I would always see him instead of the character I wanted. Oh, I feel fantastic, guys. I feel fantastic. Maybe I just needed a small break from uploading as often maybe just a tiny break to just kind of collect myself but also there have been a, a lot of things i've been working on in the background really important things for my life and uh that's the main reason why i haven't been uploading and i might elaborate more at some in some time but or at some point in time but I I don't know how I feel about it. It doesn't really matter that much though. The, the whole point is I'm here and I do want to do some live streams, but no, no, Kude's not dead. Kude is very much alive and for sure by the next updates, when we get a bunch of new content, hopefully there's a lot to cover. I've actually been trying to set things up for a live stream, but I had some issues the other day which kind of stumped my live stream. I was planning it. Oh, okay, one more diamond here. Classic Raiden, but did you have Classic Liu Kang? Let's see if you have the entire Elder God team. But yeah, nice, all right. Classic Liu Kang to top this thing off. Yeah, you do, okay, so you have the entire Elder God team. Even though he's not an Elder God, they consider him, you know, part of the Shaolin heroes. But yeah, guys, that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do plan to live stream as soon as I can. I'm, think, I'm trying to plan tomorrow, but you know me. Uh, when it comes to live streaming, I don't have exact times, mainly because setting up, things can go wrong at the absolute last second. And what I would hate is to have a scheduled time, right? Like, let's say I said 3.30 p.m. Central Time, right? And let's say things were going into 3.50 four o'clock. I don't want people to lose hope or think that I'm just not going to stream. I don't want to keep having a consistent failure to start streaming at the right time. And I really appreciate everyone. I do miss streaming. I do. I really need to get back into it. I will say though, I, I don't know how I feel about the towers in survivor mode. I, okay. I'm waiting for a character that I will really resonate with. Let me just say for this update, before I end this video, this update is incredibly mixed for me. It started off very strong. I do like Adenia Blood Katana. One thing I hate, gold character. Just not fun. It's just not fun for her to be a gold. If she was a diamond and they just slightly upgraded her passive into being a diamond character, she would be so much fun to play. She doesn't even have to make that much sense. She could just be so much more fun to play and people would, yes, pay money for her. Considering she's a gold, most people gonna pay for the $30 offer 
and be done with it. They're not going to make the hundreds that they probably want to bring in, right? The revenue from that. So why? Why lock them down to gold? Well, I'm assuming it's just because they want to keep up the consistent between, uh, sorry, consistency between diamonds and gold teams. They want to make sure that every single update has diamond and a gold. But when they make the diamond and gold so different, it it's strange. It, it doesn't add up right when the gold feels more special than the diamond character, especially when they're the one you cannot ob obtain without spending money and the diamond is possible to obtain without spending money. Classic Goofy Johnny Cage, fun character, love him, love him to death, but it just didn't make this update whole, all right? And with the extension of Elder Wind Tower, it really is dragging out this update. Um, I'm assuming with the next update, hopefully we get something just a tad bit more special and don't make another Adenian Blood character added on to the next update, please. Just, just add something spontaneous. What's that? Add two diamonds in an update again, please. Add two diamonds in an update again, because that was one of your biggest updates. Fire God the King and Classic Rain. Now, Fire God the King is not the best character or the like a great character by any stretch of imagination, because he doesn't work in towers, simply because his passive relies on fire dots, which cannot work on bosses. Fire God the King is incredibly fun to play and very useful in survival mode. Okay, number two, Classic Rain. One of the, like literally, you can you can you know say between MK11 Scorpion and him, he has to be either the first or second best character in the game. That's why the Fire God the King update was so special to everyone. When this video become a rant, I don't know when this video came became a rant, but it did. I just want to say that the developers, if you're gonna make two characters like being special you got to make them diamond or make the gold really feel like a gold just do two diamonds and a gold then all problem solved right there you go one diamond one gold isn't working for us anymore not for an entire two months you've been adding onto these towers with all this time being added onto the repeat towers you need to add two diamonds instead of one all right and you can just add a gold to go along with that and make sure that they're actually a gold and they're obtainable okay make the two diamonds lock one one diamond lock behind a paywall that's really special one that's obtainable for free and a gold character that's actually obtainable okay simple simple goal right there put her in a pack that's only only going to be dropped after her paid one comes out so then people can pay to get her early and then you can get her from this pack that they drop later on Perfect system right there. They make money, people get her for free, everyone's happy, and it feels like a gold. That's gonna be it for this video. <laughs> Sorry I went on a little rant there. I just wanted to get out my feelings about this update. I've been mixed about it, but you know I was really excited when it first came out and there was a lot of stuff here. There still is a lot of stuff in this update that's super good going forward. There's a, so much potential, especially with Mortal Kombat 1 releasing. They've got some good stuff hopefully on the way. Well. How can I say they've got good stuff when I don't know if it's on the way, but I but if uh, we're talking about Mortal Kombat 1 stuff Then they can definitely be bringing some good stuff along the way. Let me just give a big shout out to my YouTube members We have Giuliano Games Stan Marsh Rajan A. Uh, Kenneth Friendly Guy with Sperger Ola Random Tab Combat Max Nod on Black Goku Raivo Darkseid, Aiden, Katana, Valkimo, PressGG, Hamath, Plain Punch, Stefano, Poppy Garcia Official, Damien, Ez Halarson, Jeremy, Bagor, Ghosty XL, 3WPS, Devil, Shox, Jeff, Grimmer Amia, Overkill80, Fitz Magic, Massive Cool, Rosislav, and MK Fire. Thank you all for being YouTube members. And yeah, peace out.